Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything is a total washout. I've actually been like trying to like keep off of social media a bit, just at least recently, just because I've been, I don't know, a bit like overwhelmed kind of just between like work and like family and we're also getting up to the holidays which I mean the holidays even on a good year are like crazy and complicated but like throw COVID in and then we've got a whole bunch of other stuff to worry about you know so anyway I don't mean to complain too much but I that I'm trying to <laughs> but what I mean to say is that I haven't actually been super active on like Instagram like scrolling through like you know my followers and stuff so I really don't have a clear idea of like everything that's come out recently so i think we're gonna have a lot of like really good first impressions here before we jump into the new products let's go ahead and do a quick update for products i have picked up <laughs> So first off, the only product that I actually decided to pick up for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I actually did a full live stream going through each day of the 21 Days of Beauty. I'll throw it up in the cards if you missed it, but I really wanted to pick up some of these Cover FX Blush Duos, so I finally did it. I picked up two of them. So I got the shade Soft Peach because of course I did look at that this is absolutely stunning and i haven't even swatched them yet because i just got them in the mail and i want to take cute pictures of them so there's the soft peach shade and then i got the shade mojave mauve just, just mm, gorgeous that is stunning i love the packaging it's super cute the only downside is because it's white i think it's probably gonna get dirty hopefully it cleans off really nicely but i i love these compacts they feel nice they look gorgeous i cannot wait to swatch these and try them out other than that i have finally picked up enough lipsticks to do my next volume of the best and worst of black lipsticks <laughs> I'm so excited. I love doing that video and it seems like, especially recently, that video has gotten a lot more popular again. So I'm really excited to do volume three and I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek. These are all the lipsticks. I'm keeping them in this glass right here that I will be featuring in that video. I'm planning to have it come out in like the middle of October, like I did the last couple of years. For today's black lipstick, I actually picked up the KVD Kindness Vegan Beauty Discovering Kindness. <laughs> I talk a lot of shit about that brand, but they ba they basically did what we wanted them to do. They took out, like, their really problematic person. They kind of rebranded. So I am going to be purchasing from the brand to support them. Because if we don't support a brand that has done what we asked them to do, I think it kind of makes a lot of things moot. So anyway, I purchased their liquid black lipstick. And this is actually my first time wearing it right here. So far, it feels a little dry, but... We're going to see how my lips look throughout this entire video because I will be talking a lot. So it's going to be a good test to see how like it lasts and wears. All right, so I believe that is all of our updates. Let's jump into uh, some new products. Okay, so for the convenience, I do like to just scroll through Trend Mood because it, it is a good place to find kind of everything all together. And the first product that I am seeing is actually a Lime Crime palette that looks very much like a kind of updated modern renaissance palette. I don't think I've ever actually tried Lime Crime Shadows. I really wanted to get the Venus XL2 palette, which was like this grungy green and like pink palette. I never got it. It's still available. Maybe I should get it. I don't know. But I've never actually tried Venus Shadows. I've heard a lot of things, you know, both positive and negative. But, you know, I don't know. This, I kind of like the look, but like this is something like to me, this is a holiday palette is what it's being released as. But to me, this should have been like a, a spring Valentine's palette, you know? Like, this isn't exactly kind of what I'm looking for, like, for the holiday. But then again, like, we're gonna see a lot of holiday releases right now, and it's September. Uh, I, for one, who is a member of the Spoopy Club, loves fall. Fall's my favorite season. It finally felt chilly for the first time in months yesterday, and I felt so much serotonin. It was wonderful. And it really, like, makes me a little bit sad that so many brands just skip fall. You know how many great inspirational palettes you can get out of fall? Not even just palettes, lipsticks, blushes, everything out of fall. Just, mm. If I were to make a, a, a makeup brand, it'd probably just be fall. Like, I would make it spooky things all the time. 
anyway so it does make me a bit sad that a lot of companies just skip straight over fall and go straight to holiday releases but it's september and we are seeing a lot of holiday releases right now that being said uh this palette and the accompanying uh like limited edition lip set i'm not interested in i won't be picking up so here it looks like the Too faced holiday collection has been not released, but like totally sneak peeked. So there's a lot going on here, which I have to say, it's, it kind of surprises me how much Too Faced just kind of vomits out for the holiday when like I've personally tried it, I've seen reviews, I've seen the palettes, their holiday products are considerably less quality than their normal products. So that's already kind of like a meh. I kind of wish they would just do one or two, like one small holiday collection and actually make it like good quality, you know? as opposed to doing this, which is literally throwing so much shit at the wall to see what sticks, you know? Okay, so let's go through this. So first we see that there's a Cinnamon Bear palette and a Melted Matte lipstick of the same shade. That red looks gorgeous, but I'm probably not gonna, I'm not gonna buy the, their lipstick. This Cinnamon, what is it? Cinnamon Bear palette, it just, meh. It looks like like, it wanted to be that Lime Crime palette, but it just didn't get there yet. So that that's just kind of, eh. The bag, I have, to, I have to admit that bag is really cute, but I'm not going to buy this just for the bag, you know? Next is a lip injection lip gloss. And it's just like, meh, I don't need another lip gloss, especially a red one. This is actually something that would tempt me. I love lip sets, and I love minis. So this is a lip mini set, and it's got, like, the holiday sweaters. And oh my god, I kind of actually like this. Stop it, Monica. So this is a set, and it's got, uh, like, a bunch of candy cane and sugar cookie and apple kind of themed things. Adorable. But I don't need this. I'm not going to get it. Then they have a lip injection, which is the lip, the plumping lip gloss set, and it's like pumpkin pie, and oh, there's original, there's sugar cookie, and then there's pumpkin pie. Eh, no. Nah. And then we've got the sugar plum fun palette, which that just, what is this? Again, what is that? And then a little mini lip injection. Uh, they're really going all out with these lip injections, aren't they? Anyway, next <laughs> we have this big palette. And what's with this fox? Uh, I don't get it. Anyway, um, the palette looks boring as hell. The face section... Um, wow, they called a blush here for the hose. Hmm. I think that's just what they say whenever they walk into their headquarters. Anyway, yeah, that's boring and it doesn't make any sense. And it, oh, okay, anyway, then we've got this one. I don't get it. again another one. Makeup and be merry, angel. Kid. Yeah, Mah. and then oh, there's a third one that thankfully I was spared from seeing. <laughs> Nope, I was not. Here it is. Uh, they, they, they come out with so much holiday stuff, and I guarantee you, none of it is good. None of this is going to be good quality. Just please, save your money. Don't, if you are trying to get a present for someone who likes makeup, give them a gift card. Don't buy them any of this Too Faced stuff, please. Okay, so I actually got an email about this, and I want to go to my email and look through it. I got, since I'm still Sephora Rouge somehow, <laughs> I got an email about, like, the first holiday releases, and we get, like, first access as Rouge. So anyway, I want to go through these holiday kits that they have here. The first is the Skincare Self-Care, a full-size best-selling moisturizer and four hydrating minis from Drunk Elephant. I'm currently testing out two Drunk Elephant products that were accidentally sent to me by Sephora. Thank you. <laughs> And I actually bought one of these mini sets, I think back in 2018. And I have to say it's $100 normally for their mini sets. They're not worth it. They just are not. Because you get like, it's great if you're like traveling or something, but if you actually want to get these to try them out and see if they actually work on your skin, it's not enough product. And it's just not worth the money. So please don't buy any Drunk Elephant skincare minis because they're so expensive and they're not worth it. Next, we actually have a new holiday palette from Hourglass. And I had to double take because I could have sworn this is the exact palette that is sitting in my face palette drawer. No difference. Like, I feel like at least in like the last couple of years, they had done a decent enough job of tweaking it a little bit to make the palettes look different. But like this, it literally looks like the same palette. And they're only coming out again with one palette. They're not doing different skin tones. I can't. This is just, it's ridiculous. I, 
it's ridiculous at this point. Next, they have this Sol de Janeiro set, which would tempt me, but it's $62. Um, so it comes with the Boom Boom Cream, the, uh, I think, Shower Gel, the Lip Balm, and then the Fragrance Mist. Oh, I kind of like that, but 60 it's so expensive. It's so expensive. This would be a good gift, I would say. This, this is actually a good gift to give to someone who may like the scent or if you're looking to plan your holiday gifts because I have to actually, I will be getting my list together soon so I can begin shopping and saving some money for the holidays coming up. So I will say this is probably going to be a good gift, but like for someone like me who has tried the Boom Boom Cream and knows how expensive it is and whatnot, I would not think it would be worth it for personal use. Okay, so this is something I actually love and I'm probably going to buy myself for the holidays or ask for it. Um, I love their Sephora perfume sampler. So this is uh, like $68, which seems like a lot, but hear me out. So you get this big sample box of like 10 different perfumes. So you get the sample size of each perfume. And what you can do is try all these perfumes out and within this box you get a um, coupon where you can go back to Sephora and you can redeem for a full size of any of those sample perfumes. That makes it worth it because the last time that I got this, unfortunately, my Burberry blush is not included in this set. It was included in last year's set, which is my favorite perfume of all time. So it was $68 for the set. And then I bring in the coupon and I got the full size perfume, which is retailed at like $100. So you're saving like $40, $30, $30, $40, like depending on like taxes and stuff by getting this little sampler set and then redeeming the coupon. So for that, just that, I would say that it's worth it. If you're someone who likes perfume and goes through it or just buys, even if you just buy like one bottle a year, like I think like actual nice perfume, I buy one or two bottles a year, if that. And even then... I tend not to even buy it for myself because I tend to get it as gifts. But last year I did this set. Um, the only downside is that my favorite perfume is not included in here. Um, but I actually got to see, is the Juliet has a gun perfume in here? Because it might be. Darn it, yeah. So my two favorite perfumes are not in here, but I would still say this is actually a really good value. If you if you like perfumes, if you want to try a bunch out and then you have the coupon to redeem in for a full size, I will say it's worth it. Okay, so this next set from Milk Makeup, it's $39 and it's a bunch of little minis. I would never buy this for myself. I've tried a few of these products out and they're like, okay, but I wouldn't want this. I'm actually thinking of getting this for my little cousin for Christmas. I hope you're not watching this video. <laughs> if you are, forget you saw that. But I'm thinking of getting this for my cousin, which is why I'm thinking, okay, I gotta start my list for like gifts I'm gonna get and stuff so I can start buying this stuff now and like hiding it <laughs> and wrapping it. But I think this would be a perfect gift for my cousin. So this is, again, we're getting to the point where like you're thinking of gifts for, oh no, it cut off. So I apologize, my camera cut out and I just kept talking, like talking to myself essentially. But I was trying to say, um, we're getting to the point now where like these sets and like these kind of gift sets are really more for gift giving. So that's kind of the mindset that I'm in now. It's less of what I use this because kind of looking at this kind of set, I know I probably wouldn't use this and more of would this make a good gift? So that's kind of where like I'm now approaching this as. That being said, this next bedtime kiss set for Laneige, it's still $30 for lip chapsticks. Like, uh I can't say that they're really that worth it. All right, so next, looks like Charlotte Tilbury has a new highlighter, the Hollywood Glow Highlighter. I have a holly I have a Charlotte Tilbury highlighter that I don't reach for because it's not, like, blow my mind amazing, you know? It's just like, eh, it's okay. So I'm not gonna pay $55 for just, like, a meh, it's okay highlighter, you know? Like, and I can't recommend it. I just can't. So normally Sephora would also have like a mascara set, which is actually really good if you just want to buy the one set and then be set for mascara for like a year and a half. Like you, you'd be good. Here I just see a lashes set, which I don't wear lashes. I just, I just don't. It'd be really passive aggressive if I bought this for myself. I'd be like, oh here Monica, like you, you want to wear lashes, right? Like, mm. I don't know. It's got like mascaras and like some lash glue and some lashes. And I know I just want to use lash glue lashes. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't know. And I don't even know anyone I could give that as a gift to. I just don't. <laughs> okay, so that's everything from the uh, webs not website from the email that I got from Sephora. So I went to the email because Trend Mood just had like a page that had all these holiday releases on it, and I wanted to get into more detail. So I went into my email. 
Anyway, moving on to something that I'm actually kind of shocked that I love and like one. This holiday release from Marc Jacobs. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <sighs> okay, so there's like an eyeshadow palette, which is very like neutrally warm when you look at the shades, but the packaging is gorgeous. And I know the formula is good. The big Tantastic Bronzer, I swatched a Marc Jacobs bronzer in the store once and it was so orange. So orange. I, I was shocked at how orange it was. I just can't. So I know I will never buy a Marc Jacobs bronzer because they are so orange. The mascara and the lipstick, they just, they just look stunning. I actually want like a mini set, like maybe one of the mini lip eyeliner sets because this is absolutely stunning. I adore this collection. And I will say, I've tried their Noir Mascara. It's good. It's good, but I will not let myself buy it because it's $30 for a mascara. That's too much. It's too much. Even if I do like the mascara a lot, that's too much for mascara. Um, and I do like their eyeshadow formula. If you actually did not know, my very first pen that palette was a Marc Jacobs palette. It was a style icon palette in like the shade name Lolita. I'll throw that playlist up in the cards if you're interested, but I did spend a whole year panning a Marc Jacobs palette. I do like their formula. <laughs> I do like it. And I kind of really want this stupid palette. So again, another little kit that might be good for gift giving. This is from Fenty and there is a um, little mini Stunna lip stick duo that looks adorable and then there's actually a little set of the lip glosses i i do like mini lipsticks and lip sets better because especially if you have a bigger collection it's going to be so much easier and so much more sanitary you know just to have mini products or mini versions of products that you know you're not going to pan like immediately it's like it's one thing to have foundations where you can go through that pretty quickly if you're wearing foundation every day like lip glosses and lipsticks they take you a while to go through and so they can go bad and so that's why i love mini lipsticks and mini lip sets so like this uh like i know i wouldn't use the products but like i'm thinking how cute would that be like who can i get this to <laughs> all right about to roast this color pop release okay so they came out with a coast coral collection and while i'm someone who like i really like peach eyeshadow palettes i did a whole video about them and i was kind of hoping this would be the peach palette of my dreams but it's not like it's really more pink than it is orange and if you if you did watch my um battle of the peach palettes video i really prefer peaches that are more orange based than peaches that are more pink based and this is definitely looking at swatches this is definitely a pink based palette and i don't need that in my life and then they've got like highlighter and they've got eh, there's just too much here and it's just it's color pops back to their old shit essentially <laughs> okay so i'm gonna talk about this once more because i mentioned it when it was sneak peeked makeup revolution is doing a friends collab as someone who is a millennial whose name is monica i have been told more times than i can freaking count that i need to watch friends and that i'm just like that monica and blah blah blah, blah. i'm never gonna watch friends i'm not a huge fan and i don't like this makeup <laughs> i just don't and i'm not gonna get it okay so Wet n Wild finally posted their new Fantasy Makers line, which is kind of like their recurring like Halloween collection. And there's one eyeshadow palette in particular. It's like one that's green and brown and yellow. I want it, but I'm waiting until I can find it. I go to a local Walgreens every other week-ish to, to do like, you know, errands. And like last year, I was able to find half of the holiday palettes on sale. And because I know how hit or miss wet and wild holiday palettes can be i want to see if i can get these on sale and that's really the only one that i'm looking at like the other ones they're just like meh they've got colored sponges i've never tried their sponges before like if i saw that full display in a store yeah i would like go through it and maybe try the palettes but um let me see if i can link up the i don't know if i've linked too many videos at this point but i did do a video all about um like the limited edition Wet n Wild palettes from last year. And basically the moral of the story is that their palettes for like limited edition collections are very, very meh. Like some of them are great, but then some of them are like really trash. So like you really don't know what you're getting. So I can't look at this and be like, oh, that looks like a great palette. I know it's going to be great. I don't know what I'm getting with that palette. So yeah, that. 
and also the availability within my local stores, whether or not they're actually going to have it. So Charlotte Tilbury came out with another new holiday palette, and um, it looks the same as a bunch of their other palettes that they've released. I've never tried Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows because nothing has been tempting enough for me for the price. Like this palette right here, <laughs> how much are you? 60 pounds. 60 pounds in dollars. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. How much is 60 pounds in American dollars? 60 British pounds is $76.78. There you go. Thank you. That's too much. That's too much. So yeah, this just looks too neutrally for me, and I've got these shades multiple times over in my collection. Oh, let's talk about these. So these are new Huda Beauty palettes, and I was sort of kind of tempted by this grungy green palette because of course I was, but thinking about it and looking at it, I've got these shades. I basically have this palette in either the Natasha Denona Mini Gold palette or my other Natasha Denona palettes, so I really don't need this. Um, the other two palettes, they're just like, okay. The, hay, the sand haze, it looks like just kind of like a revamped version of like their nude palettes. And I do actually have the light nude palette. Um, and it's actually really nice. I liked it a lot. <laughs> but I don't need, I really don't need another palette. I've got these shades. I don't even know who this person is. So this is another Morphe collab. Of course, I'm not going to buy from Morphe. I'm not interested in Morphe. I don't even know who Madison Beer is. I think she's from uh, Vine. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, either way, um, this palette just, it looks like it's too big. Like, there's too many, like, too close shades in this palette. This palette should not be that big. Anyway, not interested. Just, I'm just not. I'm sorry. I'm not. Okay, so Sunday Riley came out with a product that is clearly trying to appeal to the millennials or the Gen Zs among us who have enough money to buy it. This is the pink drink. It's a firming, resurfacing essence. It looks adorable. Okay, but as as someone who has tried Sunday Riley products, who has fell in love with the Sunday Riley product, who has not had the money to keep buying that Sunday Riley product, and has instead found an affordable dupe for that Sunday Riley product, I would just recommend not try unless unless you're at a point where like you've got money to kind of blow. Like this is how much is this? They, do they have they don't even have a price i'm sure this is gonna be at least 80 dollars, if not more okay if you've got that kind of money sure try these products but when it comes to skincare it's one thing to spend a lot of money on a makeup product like an eyeshadow palette that you're gonna have for probably years right it's another thing to spend money continually on skincare products that you have to keep buying over and over and over again now i will say to those people that say you should be investing in your skincare, especially for a woman of my age who is 27, who should be looking at skincare more, to that I would argue you can find really good, sustainable, affordable skincare that's not $80 a bottle. <laughs> it's out there, I promise you. And that's coming from someone who, like, my ride or die used to be the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Oil, and I duped that with a CeraVe product, and it works just as well for my skin. So... I would just say, to those of you who saw this and were kind of tempted, I would just say, experiment, try the ordinary, try Sarah, try your local affordable brands, because I guarantee you, you're going to find a really good skincare routine that you don't have to spend, like, a rent payment on every other month to maintain. Because that's the one thing, you're not just buying this product once and then that's it. You're buying this product, like, every other month, like, at the, at the least, if not more, you know? Oh, I want this. Okay. Alamar Cosmetics is coming out with another eyeshadow palette that looks adorable. But, like, they've got these contour palettes. There's three of them. There's, like, a light, there's a medium, and there's a dark. You know how much I love a good face palette and a good contour palette. I want that light contour palette <laughs> so much. It looks so cute. Oh, my God. How much is it? Ooh, they're $25. Hmm. Mm, maybe I can if I can find it on sale they're new so I don't know if they're gonna be on sale anytime soon but I did try and really like their eyeshadow palette that I got on a boxy charm a while ago so I'm really tempted to get it, like that contour palette and I do appreciate how they came out with like these nice three shade ranges that's really nice for a face palette 
Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mention real quick. I don't support Stephanie Lange. Is that even how you pronounce her name? She does a lot of stupid shit on camera. Like, she tattooed her own face, which you shouldn't do it. Her, she really just comes across as very, um, desperate for views and for attention. And she displays a lot of really dangerous self-harming behavior that I don't think should be promoted on this platform. And so to see someone like her get this kind of collab, a bit discouraging, a bit disheartening. Sigma, mm, what are you doing? So I'm not going to be buying this. Oh, so apparently Target is now going to be selling Alamar Cosmetics. Maybe I can find their new face palettes at Target. All right, and to finish out this BWOW, I'm going to finish with this product, which is both really stupid and also, like, I want it. <laughs> the, the makeup eraser is doing a collab with Spongebob. Look at these. <laughs> these are basically the minis that I have in my mini set. I have to say, I really appreciate my makeup erasers because they've been making makeup removal and trying to cut out uh, makeup wipes a lot easier for me. This is so stupid. <laughs> They're all Spongebob characters. <laughs> Look at the Squidward one. <laughs> This is so stupid. Oh, but I want it. This is so stupid. I want the $25, which is a bit more than my set. But, oh my god, it's cute. This would be an adorable gift. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry for laughing about this, but it's adorable and also stupid at the same time. And I am not quite sure why I want it, but I do. Okay, so I feel like I have talked for long enough. That is everything I'll be going over for this week's Be Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think of these products. And if there's anything that I missed that you want my opinion on, let me know down below and I'll either answer in the comments or include it in next bi weeks video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.